Alright, welcome guys to uh, more of this tutorial. I don't know what number up to, 33 I think. Um, I've had a large break from this due to some uh, personal circumstances. Um, so anyone who's been uh, following along with this tutorial and got pissed off I haven't updated, um, it's probably fair enough really. Um, but they were really out of my control. Um, updates will be more regular from now on, so let's crack into this. Um, what we'll do is put a couple of holes in the front here with some slats and things. Uh, I'll show you the reference image. Uh, so this one's here. Um, got some tubing around the outside. And sort of little slats angling up there. Um, it's not particularly hard to do. can be a bit fiddly if everything goes wrong. Um, hopefully it won't here, so let's crack into it. Um, we'll mark it on the body, of course, which polygons we want and which we don't. Um, want a selection roughly the size of our hole down here is um, about like so. Um, something about like that there. Um, let's make a copy and we'll paste that up there. We'll delete all these hangers on we've got coming along with it. Um, get rid of those tags there. Um, from there what we're going to do is invert our selection, so selection, invert and delete those polygons, so we're just left with that again. Um, I've done that plenty of times, so we're actually going to make another copy of this. Like so. And from here, let's get making our holes. Um, to do this, we're going to turn one of those bodies off. Otherwise we'll get thoroughly confused, and we'll turn off our main model so you can see what we're doing. Um, let's grab a cube, so primitive and cube. Um, it's about the right size to start off with, um, using the measurements I've used. If you've used something different, you may need to scale it up or down, depending on what you're doing. Um, the one thing we're going to do, are going to do, is tick the fillet box here. Um, you can see for the sizes, I've got um, 40 meters for the fillet radius and five for the subdivision. Um, what that's doing is that's rounding off the corners of our cube, which is just going to give us about the right shape for the hole. I'll just turn on my handles and move that into place. Um, up to about there. Um, just check that yours is fitting nicely inside your panel. And we'll grab a bull and we'll drop in our cube and our body like so. And there you can see the basic hole shape we're looking for. Um, what we do, I do need to do is put some tubing around the outside of that. Um, to do that we're going to make our boolean object editable by hitting C. Uh, you can see it gives a change the icon there um, into that sort of null object icon. Um, we're going to open it up and select the body, which is these ones here. We're going to go into edge mode and we're going to select all these edges around the inside. Um, we don't want these angled ones here, I'm just going to select them roughly um, and deselect them all. I find it's quicker just to scroll along like this and then deselect the ones we don't want. If you want to be zoom in and select them all one by one, um, you can just change the pressure radius of your live selection tool and down to one there. But I find doing that there is much quicker and easier. Um, so it's got all those ones on the outside deselect, and it's just that inside line there. Um, what we're going to do now is go up to our structure menu. Edit spline and edge to spline, which gives us this little spline here, and we're going to drag it out like so. Um, from here, we're going to drop that into a sweep nerve with a circle, just like we did for creating the tubes down the bottom. So that's in our objects menu. We want a spline primitive circle, radius of probably six or seven. I'm going to try seven. Uh, I'll see how that works. So a sweep nerb and drag it in our circle and our body spline like that, which gives us that little casing around the outside. If yours hasn't joined up completely, um, you can just make your sweep nerb editable and it'll have some caps on the inside. Um, from there, just delete the caps close the polygon hole and extrude it out a little and sort of shunt it into place. Um, the next one down here might go wrong, this one here has gone right. 
and you can see it's closed right around and giving us that there um, which is exactly what we're after um, see what on our boolean object here what we need to do is create another hole just the same so that's objects primitive cube up to the top and tick your fillet box your settings should stay the same so you can drag that one down and into place about there um, as you can see I'm not too worried about the spacing in between them uh, we need to make another ball which is from that menu there so we'll drag in our cube and our other one that's still labelled ball which gives us the hole make it editable and we're selecting them from the edge there I think oh no open up our ball again body so it's ball inside a ball with the body is selected as what we want and we want to select those edges there again uh, if this one goes wrong it'll show you how to fix it up if your first one went wrong Um, if this doesn't, I'll just select these and drop in a quick sweep nerve and hopefully everything will work out. This one needs a little fiddlier. Um, see it's created all sorts of triangles and things all over the place. By having two uh, balls subtracting from the same spot with a slightly rounded hole. Um, looks fairly ugly, but it'll be fine once we get some materials on at the end. Um, okay, body selected, so structure. Edit spline, edge to spline, drag it out, and create an object primitive, spline primitive, circle, 7 meters, click and drag them into a sweep nerd. Like so. Um, this one here has done what I was talking about, it hasn't completely joined through here um, if you get the case there you can see the bit of a hole if we render that you'll clearly see it's got a hole in it which is perfect so we'll show you how to fix it so we'll hit C to make our sweep nerve editable uh, and you can see we've got all these caps in here um, so two sets of caps so it means it hasn't joined in two places um, what you want to do is just find one of the cap ones, and you see it's all those polygons in there. What we're going to do is delete the cap. I'm going to select it, hit delete there. Structure. Um, select your sweep nerve now. In polygon mode, structure. Close polygon hole. And if we get it in just the right place, you can see there. Click, which closes that. And we're going to select it like so. What we're going to do. It's just extrude a little. So right click, right the menu, and just extrude a little. And that's looking okay. We'll give that a quick render. A bit further. Um, extrude a little further. If it's joining out too far, you can always shunt it back and forward using your handles. Um, according to this, I should have another gap somewhere. I'll uh, see where's cap one of this set. I just jumped up on that polygon there. As you can see, the join isn't visible. If we come out, let's have a look. Um, like so, you can see we've got our two selections like that. I didn't deselect those ones there, so we've actually got a sweep nerve around there twice. Um, through holding shift too much, which seems to be a bad habit of mine. Um, anyway, you should have this. If there's any problems, you can flick me a, a message here on YouTube or on my email, which I think I've provided somewhere, and if I haven't, I'll provide it somewhere at the end. Um, next tutorial, we'll make the slats and things, so I'll end this one here. And see you next time.